Hello everyone, it's Subsound here, and as you can see, I've been getting messages on YouTube of people wanting a tutorial slash breakdown thingy of one of my songs, specifically the Rogue Daybreak remix. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because people seem to find it interesting to look at other people's FLPs and how they do stuff. So let's go. So here's what the project of the track looks like. It's quite a large one. And this one's definitely taken me uh, the longest out of any other track, as you can see. So we'll start off at the beginning, and as you can see, I've got random automation clips placed here. But that's just because um, I want to start off with a few things open and later on the track you'll see that it starts off closed and then goes up and I don't want it to start off closed so you'll have random open bits so that when it does go closed it, you know, it starts off open and then goes closed like that. At least I think it works that way. The first musical bit's pretty simple, got the glitch in which I rendered out and then by the looks of things re-glitched. And then we got this sound which is like a plucky string sound, which is uh, done in citrus, because I don't have contacts and I would love to get contact and be able to actually use good versions of these sounds, but I have to make do with this. And I've layered it with 8-bit saw melody that kind of opens up using an EQ. And that's made layering an 8-bit synth that was sampled from a Game Boy. And 3x oscillator. And as you can see, it gets a bit more stuttery as it comes in to the fuller bit where we got all of this stuff. So, what else comes in? Uh, the same thing again, layered with a, an FM8 patch. Which looks like this. Copy that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just pause it, and there you go. That's what that looks like. I don't really want to show all of these because, you know, I'm, I'm not very good at sound design and the fact that I come up with these sounds yeah, surprises me because I'm not usually very good at it. Oh, we've got a piano as well. Along with the vocals and the crashes. And a little house pluck I did in Massive. Looks like this, which has a macro and a cutoff, which is linked to this and the resonance. Because when the resonance is high and the cutoff is down, it tends to sound nice and plucky. And I also linked it to uh, decay and release. So there's a little house pluck. Led with just a crappy hard bass in Harmer, which is getting a little bit louder. It sounds kind of rubbish on its own, but I tend to layer it with like all of the growly basses and just the sub bass. It tends, to, I just think it's a like fattened sound up. As you can see, I sidechain the same way Rogue does. By linking the kick to a controller, I just sidechain the EQ. And that's on the uh, sidechain volume. A fruity balance. So we've got all this kick, uh, clap, which as you can see, I put in as a waveform because it has like a little crunch and then it kind of fades in and then there's the rest of the clap. It kind of has like a hit and then the clap. So you can hear it like on the kick a bit better. And, and I layered it with that. Like a little, a crappy little pshh. But it sounds better with it. And together it all sounds like this. Got the house plug opening and then the little crappy hard bass fading in and the delay on the vocals sweep and uh, this opening up. The piano. Then we've got some more drums, which is the ride, the hi hat loop, and uh, hi hats. Sounds like that. And um, got some brass chords, which probably aren't the ones from the song, but. I don't know, I just click stuff in the piano roll until it sounded good. Because that's kind of how I do everything, just click stuff until stuff sounds good. Kind of, that's my advice for everything, <laughs> musically. And then we've got the sub bass slowly fading in. And everything's still opening up a bit. Ah! And then we've got the build up. Which is basically the same sequence here, but as you can see, I, as it kind of repeats, I just use the slicey tool and slice everything up. Oh, and we've got a clap rise thingy here. And the 3x oscillator just going. Along with a sweep. And we've got the brass opening up. And the hard bass. House pluck. Piano. And uh, that and some sweeps and crashes. And it goes from the ride to the hi-hat loop. Or the ride loop, whatever. And the kick fading in. And for this bit to sound like I got a, got a fill. I just got the, from it, along with 
a kick and a hall kick. And then Rogue saying, good day. Good day. From one of his vlogs, he begins with it like, good day. Another drop. We've got the uh, the same drums from here. It's not changed in any way because they're still pretty full. The drop's pretty simple, actually. Uh, all you've got is this arp going here, which is that FM8 patch. I tend to do that with arps. It starts off as an arp and it turns into a fast melody. Yeah, the bit that everybody likes, the wubby bits. Now, I'm pretty chuffed with this one. Now, like I said, my sound design hasn't been very good, so the fact that I came up with that, I was, I was so happy. I was like, oh yeah. For those that are saying it's like a bunch of Skrillex samples, yeah, it's not. As you can see, I did actually make this, but there's this one sample here that goes, and that was literally just to fill in a gap. There was a gap here, a gap there, a gap here, and a gap here. So I just kind of filled out the gaps with that sound. I think that's the only sample I used. And this is just white noise. So if we take it out, that's what I made, and then that's what it is. It's just adding white noise. And uh, most of these are massive patches. I'm not going to show all of them because, like I said, they're kind of... I'm pretty proud of these noises. I think this is kind of like... Definitely a noise I'm going to use, like, a lot. And most of these are just variations of the noise, like... And then... Which kind of sounds roguish. Which I'm pretty chuffed with. And then... Just, again, just the, it's all the same thing. And then... And that sounds very rogue. I guess I'll say kind of how I did this. The way the way I got the voweling so, what I did was uh, I'm using double notch and I linked double notch to a performer and also on the massive EQ I turned the boost up all the way and I linked the same performance on the double notch cutoff as I do on the frequency at a certain part and if you have the boost all the way and the frequency all made in it tends to vowel it more like or that's what's doing all the, like the vowely stuff. It's pretty much just a hard bass run through EQ and double notch. That's kind of how it's done. I don't really want to give away too much. And that laser is actually this bass here. I just turned the resonance up and it just went into a laser and turned the unison uh, up, unisono up. If you want to know how the wubs kind of sound equal in quality, it's what I got in the inserts. So if I take off this, it sounds like this. Like they're kind of muddy sounding. Uh, what I do is I put Maximus on, turn down the low, which I pretty much cut off in the EQ as well. Just kind of do this with Maximus. <laughs> and then and there, there you go. Which basically just makes it all a bit more like high quality. And a bit of reverb. Just to add a bit of atmosphere, a bit of hardcore distortion. Just the tiniest bit. Uh, EQ ain't cutting off here because the sub bass comes in here. But I still want harmonics in the low end. And you've got a limiter. Just to stabilise it, because some are a lot louder than other ones. And another EQ, just a little fine tuning here and there. At least that's how I do it. And for this bit, we got uh, the... Just using the slicey tool to cut it up. And the vocals. Sub bass. Right, uh, right. And just the sweet, that's crashing the sweet to fill it out. But... Because I know it's for a lot of people, you have the wubs and you have this bit and it'll be a lot less fuller. You know, try crashing the sweep. And just instruments that kind of bring, like, fill out the EQ spectrum. I guess I could show you how I did this. Which is uh, an FM8 patch, I think. As you can see, there's a lot of layering involved. Got the hard bass. FM8. Massive. That's what's doing most of the voweling. That and FM8. I layer a lot of things with this crappy little hard bass. Uh, for the FM8, woo, it's kind of crappy on its own. Like, it sounds like this. And how I did it is just, if I take all this down, I, I got a hard bass with it, like this. And then I put an EQ, bit of chorus, and talk wear. And some post-production um, on the inserts just to kind of make it sound better. Because without it, it sounds really muddy. Just kind of brings out the brightness. Um, which is, that's what's making it go Whoa! That's what the automation clip is doing And yeah, like I said, it's layered with And But that, these two are what mainly do it That's how I get the Whoa! kind of virtual riot sounding Whoa! Whoa! thingy Sorry I didn't go into too much detail about the bases and stuff I don't want to give everything away Because it took a while to make this And I don't really want to, you know, expose everything And everything I've learned has become meaningless uh, for this lead, for people that were wondering, this isn't Nexus, though it sounds like it. It's actually massive. There you go. And the thing that's making it sound like Nexus is the frequency shift and clip. If I take those two off... Oh 
Oh yeah, the chord, as you notice, the chords kind of change as well. Just to keep it interesting. You've got the house pluck doing an arp. And uh, the piano. I th I'm just making it go gling, 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 gling. With the, um, as you can see, I delayed the octave higher. What else we got? That as well. Lots of wet reverb on here. Because I bust the vocals to um, an insert with lots of reverb, and I just pretty much applied it here with an automation clip. So that's what the, oh yeah, and the brass chords. And then the drums come in. And I got bored of it, so I made it stutter here. The, this. And we're basically harmonizing it with two different instruments, so it's like. And. And the house pluck is also harmonizing. And you've got the piano still going. And the uh, thingy. <laughs> And the brass chords as well. And it's something that I like to do a lot as well, is have like a boom, reverse kick, and then psh. I've done that a lot in my old songs. And this bit to make it go like, like to make it really explode, I just pretty much got the thing from the tom fill. <laughs> really stretched out. And a reverse kick and kick. And the clap. And then here we've got the whirl. And this is done kind of similar to the other build-up. Just pasted the other one, made it as different like as I could. And you've also got this little lead coming in here. Oh yeah, I've got more drums as well. Got the clap going in and hats. Doing this. <laughs> Again, row going. Good day. And then you've got second drop. Right, to make this sound, for those who are wondering, it's basically loads of layering. As you can see, there's a butt ton of layering for this one. Oh, and I did use one more sample, which is uh, this. I think that's acceptable. I made the majority of it. Then goes into dubstep. As you see, the wub's actually sort of have some progression now, they're not just wah, 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 like the same note. Um, just to keep the whole thing interesting really. Same thing but with the electro style drums, not dubstep. Then just the same drums from the drop but with a lot less stuff. And then more minimal. And then boom. So there you go, that's what um, this is. I covered it as well as I could. I probably missed loads of things, but I've been recording for like an hour. As you made it all the way to the end, I might as well show you uh, this preview of my latest song, Memories, which I've submitted to Monster Cat and hopefully it'll get on, but if it doesn't, then I'll just release it. Here's kind of what it sounds like. Here's a bit of the uh, drop. And here's a little bit of the next drop. That's all you get though. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go and scroll like this. And I will see you all in the next one. And make sure you subscribe so you get notified of when uh, this song is released. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Good day.